welcome. So we're going to do uh, chapter four, apply your skills uh, four dash two. And so in order to do that, I had to go ahead and open up the AYS underscore A2 underscore chapter four company file. You can do that either. You can either open up the company file or you can restore the portable file. So this is what I have open here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, go ahead and enter um, some credit card charges for the American Express credit card. So I'm going to click down here on enter credit card charges. So for these, uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure you, you have your American Express selected, which is the only card in there. And then we're going to go ahead and enter the data. So a couple of points to, when you're entering the data. There's going to be several of these vendors that are listed here that we do not have in the system. So if you enter a vendor that's not in the system, what you need to do is you need to uh, quit, do the quick add. And just for example, let me let me say I'm I'm entering Mr. Mr. Bell, right? As a vendor, it's not in our drop-down list. We can see that. And so when I hit Tab now, now that I've entered the full vendor's name, it's going to it's going to ask me, do you want to do a quick quick add or do you want to set up the vendor? Uh, you can click this blue button and quick add it. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because I don't want to actually do that. So let's look, look at the data as it's entered. So we're going to start back here with the Bothell's Pet Supply. So I've already entered this data. <clears throat> a couple things also that you're going to need to note is as you enter vendors that are not in the system, they're not going to have the accounts that are set up already. Uh, for example, this second one here, Glenn's Handyman Service, was quick quick added. I did the quick add button. And then down here, you just read the memo, <coughs> understanding the nature of the transaction, and pick the proper account. On this one, it's a repairs and maintenance account is what I selected. This next one is uh, office supplies. And then for Carol's Gardening Service, I also selected repairs and maintenance. The fifth transaction down is a refund. So what you're going to want to make sure to do is you want to select this refund <clears throat> toggle right here. The purchase charge button will be selected as you save and uh, do select save and new and move to the next uh, blank credit card purchase entry form. And so you're going to want to go over here and select the refund credit radio button there and enter your data. When you go on to the next one, make sure to move that back to the purchase charge a radio button. On this one, on Laura's Cafe, it's also a quick ad. I selected meals and entertainment as the account. And then what you want to do here at the end is you're, you're, once everything's entered in correctly, you can go ahead and uh, exit out of the this uh, screen and open up your chart of accounts. So in your chart of accounts, you're going to want to select your American Express account, which is 21,000 right here. Right click on that and you can select from the bottom of the drop-down list after you right click on your mouse the quick report enter the correct data points that it's asking for which is for the month of June 2023 so that's June 1st through June 30th then it'll bring it up here it'll say as of June 30th 2023 go ahead and hit your Excel drop-down arrow and create a new worksheet you're going to want to save this Excel worksheet that comes up. It says create new worksheet. Go ahead and hit export. You're going to want to save this new worksheet uh, where you save your files for submission and then you'll have it there for submission. 